Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and this is the start of a very messy month-long reading vlog. Hi there everyone! So before I get started, I just want to let y'all know that I originally had the intro for this video different. I filmed myself looking for the books on Goodreads and screen recording um, my laptop and everything looking for these five books and telling y'all about them and reading the summary for y'all right then and there. I have lost that footage so I'm just gonna pop in here at the beginning. It is November 8th so it has been well over a month since I have started this vlog. It has been almost a month since I have actually posted a video. Um, a lot has happened to me recently um, to where I was in a big booktube slump. I didn't want to film anything. I just wanted to sit in my bed and watch Gilmore Girls. My uh, anxiety and uh, depression sparked up in October um, for various, various reasons, which I'm not going to get into. I will say uh, in this video, uh, it's my last clip of um, Cress. Cress is my hamster. Um, you don't see her in this video, but you see her cage and I talk about her in this video. Um, she passed away two days ago, unfortunately. I had to put her down. She had some respiratory issues and she wasn't breathing all that well. So unfortunately, I had to take her to the vet and put her down, which is really sad. Um, some things happened before where my anxiety and depression was really flaring up. So I decided to delete my Twitter app. So if you try and get in contact with me through Twitter, um, I'm not going to no probably i'm only gonna use twitter to post um when my videos are coming out um from now on for a while now so i'll only be on there maybe a couple times a week or less than that once a week um but if you want to contact me in any way i have my bookstagram link down below i'm very prevalent on that social media platform anyway <laughs> enough about me um i have yet to film my october wrap-up so that will be up soon. I just wanted to let y'all know about these five books that I will be reading. In the month of October, I decided that I wanted to do a video where I read the top five highest rated books on my TBR shelf on Goodreads. I've seen a few um, other booktubers do this and I really wanted to partake in it and see what I got out of it. Um, maybe knock some books off of my TBR. I didn't have any of these books originally. I ordered one book because I knew that I was going to love it and I wanted a physical copy. I'll just run through the list real fast and their average rating. I get into the summary of each book while the uh, video goes along. So first we have Two Worlds Collided by Karen Michelle Nutt. This has an average rating of 4.47 stars and it only has 19 ratings. Next is The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. This has an average rating of 4.45 stars and it has 14,981 ratings. Number three on this list is Returning His Favor by Jacqueline Francis. Uh, this has an average star rating of 4.36 stars and it only has 25 ratings. The fourth one on this list is The Gravity of Us by Brittany C. Cherry. This has an average rating of 4.42 stars and it has 18,291 ratings. And the last book on this list is Neat by Candy Steiner. Uh, this has an average rating of 4.23 stars with 1,329 ratings. Yeah, these all have really high ratings, so I decided to read them and you're about to see my reaction to reading these books so without further ado here is the reading vlog that spanned the whole month of october <laughs> hey y'all so i guess it is the start of this reading challenge i actually am a little bit late updating you so i ended up starting two worlds collide or collided i don't remember um i actually started it maybe a week ago and dnf'd it already i only got maybe to chapter two and it's not good it's not good like okay so this is like a rock star romance which number one i've never liked a rock star romance ever i just find them so unrealistic and sometimes really corny yeah this one is about a guy who apparently 
commits suicide in like 1997 or something who is a really big popular guy in a band. This girl was like basically a super fan or something like that. Or she was related to one of his band members or someone who worked with him on tour or something. Sorry, the sun is real bad. The first chapter starts with her and her girlfriends talking about how he's dead and how he committed suicide. And then one of her friends is like, Oh, do you have something of his though? And she goes, yeah, I ended up taking a bracelet off of his wrist one time. And she's like, oh, okay, you have something of his. I'll be right back. And then she like proposes the idea of time travel. And apparently she's gonna go time travel and save him or something. I have no idea because I DNF'd this because the writing was not good. I don't recommend this book. I was gonna try and read it for the sake of finishing the books on this list, but I decided I don't want to do that. I'd rather be happy and read something else and be miserable and read a book just because I have to. So I guess that's one book out of the way. Um, and then I finished my book that I was reading earlier, that I was physically reading earlier. So tonight, or today, I'm gonna read a little bit before class. I'm in the parking lot for my class. Um, I'm going to be reading The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. I honestly don't know anything about this book, but everybody loves it and I've read a few, two K.A. Tuckers. One was a three star and one was a five star. My first one I've ever read by her was a five star. And then I think it was called Until It Fades. I gave it three stars. Cause that one's kind of like a rock star or a famous person romance too. And I didn't like that. The main reason why I didn't like that though is cause there was like a mystery aspect to it. And I don't like mystery aspects in romance books because it's so blatantly obvious that it pisses me off. People love this book. So hopefully I do too. I really want to read this so badly. So I'm going to go to class and read it right now. Hey y'all, it's the next day. I'm here with Mr. Oreo. Say hi. Anyway, um, I am on page 54 of The Simple Wild. Wow, you can't even see that. The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. I am really enjoying this. There's not even like romance in it so far and I'm I'm loving it anyway. This is about our main character named Kala who has a rough relationship with her father because her mother and father split up I think when she was two because her father is um, like a big honcho man in a small town Alaskan flying company so he's like a pilot and her parents broke up because her father was never there and she was sick of it and she couldn't deal with it anymore so she moved to with Kala she moved with Kala to Canada she is now I think 26 years old in this book and her father has never been there for her she hasn't seen him since she was two so she doesn't really have that good of a relationship with him because he keeps letting her down and he's never there for her but then she gets a call from one of his friends saying that he has cancer and that he's dying and was wondering if she could come see him. And so she decides to go visit him because she's never met him before. And I'm at the part right now where she's about to go visit him. Like she's packing to go to Alaska. And I'm really enjoying this. I really love Simon, her stepdad. I really love him. <laughs> I barely know him so far, but I really enjoy him as a character. Her mother's really sweet and like her, her reasons for leaving are totally valid in my opinion. I'm really enjoying this a lot so far. I'm only on page 54. Yeah, I'm gonna go make an ice cream cone. <laughs> I found some gluten-free uh, ice cream cones at the grocery store the other day, so I for sure bought them because I haven't had like an ice cream cone in so long. So I'm gonna go make an ice cream cone <laughs> and maybe read a little bit of this before I go to bed. Hello, I'm on page 186 of The Simple Wild. I'm really enjoying this a lot. Like, it's so good. I even recommended it to my mom and, like, I think she would love this book even because it's not solely romance. It's about this girl trying to reconnect with her dad and I love that. I read some of this at the gym while I was on the stationary bike today and... I almost started tearing up because there was a scene where her and her dad finally talk about why he hasn't been there for her for the past 24 years of her life. So I started tearing up because some of the stuff he was saying, I was like, oh my God. But yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this. I should be studying for a geology test right now, but I actually want to read this instead. <laughs> and I haven't gotten this sucked into a book in a while now. So, 
I'm excited to read more. I feel like this is gonna be maybe my new favorite book of the year. We will see. <laughs> I also got a new little bookmark because I went and bought Serpent and Dove the other day and I bought a new little bookmark along with it. And this one is a Luna one. Things we lose have a way of coming back to us in the end, if not always in the way we expect. Luna love good. And I love this little bookmark. I haven't had a good sturdy bookmark in a while there though, so I decided to invest some money in it. Um, and there is a little Ravenclaw symbol on the back. I also want to let y'all know I rearranged my shelves again. <laughs> so I was gonna make this shelf behind me solely Black Dagger Brotherhood books, but I realized I couldn't all fit on that shelf, so <laughs> that's not gonna happen. I actually literally two minutes ago ordered two more books in the series, <laughs> so I'm waiting on those to come in in the next two days. But I made the problem with Forever by Jennifer L. Armitage at my display book for this shelf because I feel like more people need to read this. This one has kind of mute disability rep in it and then talks about foster family, her and her foster brother reconnecting and maybe sparking up something. She has a, she's kind of basically mute because of the trauma she has suffered in the past. So I feel like this is also going to be a space that I might just like recycle and like put books in that I feel like need more hype or more recognition i may just cycle them through through videos for people to notice this is now completely romance 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 uh most of it is romance some of it is my other favorite ones and then it just gets into other contemporary books um and then i decided to make the very tippy 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 top black dagger brotherhood books i'm really short so you probably can't see that there you go. There's more books in the series. I just don't have them yet. And then nothing's here has changed. The reason why I changed everything is because I redid my whole room. So those used to be where my headboard is now. So I've just flipped my headboard around and switched everything around. And so I made all the books by my TV, my classic collection. Um, so on each side I have four sets of Barnes & Noble Collector's Edition classic books um, and then we got this like shoe display case to put my TV on top of so I could see it better from my bed and then just inside I put classic books um, I haven't I've read all of these ones I haven't read a few of these down here and then I decided to take my diamond painting out of my TBR cart because I haven't been working on it in a while, so I just put it in a shelf in my closet. Because I also cleaned out my closet. <laughs> um, and then I just have been adding books here and there. The bottom shelf is empty right now. Because I don't know what to do with it. This whole shelf right here are books I haven't read yet either. But I don't really feel the need to read them like the ones on my TBR cart. You know what I mean? I also had to downsize Cress's cage. Or enclosure um because my sister um left her pet bearded dragon here um while she went to college because you're not allowed to have pets in a dorm room so she left her bearded dragon here and he was outgrowing his cage that used to be his um he was outgrowing his and so we had to switch them because mine was bigger for the hamster and a glass enclosure that big is like 200 dollars. so we ended up switching it and so Cress got a little bit of a downgrade but i guess it's okay she's fine she's a little mini white winter hamster like she's fine but other than that those are some of my updates room updates all that jazz i might read one chapter and then i'll study for my geology test but i'm gonna go do that right now <laughs> hey y'all it's a couple days later i think i don't know when the last time i updated you was but i have around 100 pages left in the simple wild it's in my book bow right here also i just bought a new book slave from jess from peace love books her etsy shop i'm waiting for that to come in the mail but i wanted to let y'all know i have an unboxing right here i think i might have two books in here and some other things um so let's open it up Okay, we have four things in here. Two of them are books. I bought some lavender bubble bath because I need like a real bubble bath. <laughs> I've been wanting some. I bought some more face moisturizer because I ran out. 
And then I bought two Black Dagger Brotherhood books for my collection. <laughs> I have The King and, ooh, this one has like an iridescent shine to it, The Shadows. Ooh, you can't really see that, but it does have an iridescent shine to it. I promise you, the, the words on here, can you see that? Maybe a little bit, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna go put these on my Black Dagger Brotherhood shelf now. And then I'm going to finish The Simple Wild today. I have the day off of work. So I'm gonna spend my time a read. Hey y'all, it's a little later, a couple of hours later maybe. And I have maybe like 30 pages left of The Simple Wild. It's getting, it's getting rough. <laughs> uh, it's getting serious. This is way more than a romance book by the way. Oh. The relationship with Kala and her father. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> anyway, my other package came in, so I thought I'd share it with y'all what I got. Okay, three things in here, I think. Yeah. Okay. I bought this cute. I guess I cut off the zipper when I was opening the package. Um I bought this cute little pencil case for my purse because my purse is now my backpack because I only have two classes a day so I didn't bring my backpack to school. But I bought this cute little yellow pencil case to match my <laughs> yellow aesthetic. <laughs> so I'm gonna put my pens in here later and clean out my purse because that's a thing that needs to happen. I also bought a new mini iPad case because I've had my red <laughs> iPad case for like over five years and I needed a new one because it's falling apart. <laughs> it's this pretty little pink one. They didn't have like a good yellow one so I didn't buy a yellow one. Um, my next super color is pink so I bought a pink one. Um, this looks really cute. So look it has a little it stands up like this. Oh that's so cute. Whoa. <laughs> and lastly I bought a yellow bullet journal. I finally did it. I've been wanting to get a yellow bullet journal and an actual bullet journal for a while now. So I did it. I started a bullet journal earlier in the year or over the summer maybe, but I never stuck with it. And it took a lot of time to do spreads because I didn't have these dots in here because the dots actually help, you know? Plus it's just really time consuming. So I think I might like get this bullet journal started for next year to be honest with you because I really want to make it look really pretty. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing bullet journal videos I guess. I have one book left waiting. I bought the last book in the Royally series. I finally splurged and bought it because I only have the main three. The last thing I'm waiting for is for my book sleep to come in from Jess. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go read the last 30 pages of this book. I might cry. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not okay right now. <laughs> I'm on page 374. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just sobbing my eyes out. <laughs> oh my god. I almost someone spoke something happened i just want to cry all day long <laughs> okay i have to finish this book i have like less than 20 pages left fudge fudge hello it is later i just finished a simple while wow this book is fantastic like it's so good. It's just so, it's so good. Wow. I, w I thought, I knew that this was going to be like a good book. I didn't know it was going to be this good. Like it's, it's, it's so good. The last like 50 pages of this book, I just was crying <laughs> to be honest with you. And as you can see, there aren't many romance scenes. A lot of it has to do with family, but there's romance in it, obviously. And the romance was so good, so good. And I just heard that they're making, that Kay Tucker's making a second book to this. I need that in my life. <laughs> wow, 
Oh, okay. I love K.A. Tucker's writing. I always have. Um, Five Ways to Fall by her is one of my favorite romance books. I think this one's better, honestly, though. That book was my first book I've ever read by her, and I was just sucked in and gripped to her story the whole time, and that's how this was, for sure. I couldn't get enough of Kala. Like, I could not get enough of Kala. I loved her dad. I loved her mom. I loved her stepdad. I loved Jonah. Ugh. Just all of these characters are so well developed, and I love every single one a lot. And, like, I remember all these character names, which that normally doesn't happen with the book. I don't remember her parents' names or their friends' names or their neighbors' names. Like, no, I wouldn't remember. I know everybody's name after the, reading this book. And that never happens for me, really. This might be my new favorite book of the year. I need the next book in my hands. I don't know if she's even started writing it, but I, I want it so badly. Oh, my word. This was good. And I really recommend it. I'm gonna go stew in my feelings for a little bit. And I'll talk to y'all later. Hello everyone. It is Wednesday, I think. I finished Simple Wild yesterday. And I am already almost 50% done with returning his favor by, I think, Jacqueline something. I'm so sorry. The uh, book cover will be on the screen somewhere. Okay, I just got out of class and I'm gonna talk to y'all while I am out, pulling out of this parking lot. So I started returning his favor last night and this one is all about a girl who is plus size, so it has fat rep in it. She's a photographer and she falls for an ex-Amish man and it's like their story, he's a mechanic. So far, like, it's really addicting to me because I'm already almost 50% of the way through. Um, it's like 250 pages. It's really addicting, but I do have some issues so far. It doesn't have like transitions. Like there'll be one paragraph where she'll say, oh, and I went to bed. And the next paragraph will just say, oh, the next morning I woke up and blah, 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 blah. When I like, that, that really bugs me. I need like some kind of like transition point or I need it to be a new chapter or like I need it like to, there to be a big space to indicate, oh, there's a new day. It really bugs me when books do that, just my opinion. And then also I will say the steamy scenes are really, really well written, like really well written. I'm really enjoying those. But the problem that I'm having with those steamy scenes is there's no, um, lead up to it they just look at each other and bam stuff starts happening and also it ends and bam we're done like there's like oh we put on our clothes and walk away like <laughs> there's no like lead up or like cooling I don't know how to describe it but like they just bam no lead up to it and then there's like after they're done they're like cool gonna go put on my clothes and chill in another room with you like there's like no like I want the cuddling and the snuggling and the just like not like oh we're gonna put on our clothes and pretend it basically didn't happen like that's kind of what it feels like so that's what's bugging me right now I am really enjoying these characters though um Jacob oh it's about Jacob and um Melissa by the way those are the two main characters Jacob is really alpha male to a point where like he wants her to text him wherever she goes well it, it's bugging me a little bit but I'm really loving the representation I'm really loving the characters so far and I really want to know what happens in this book like it's addicting to her I want to know what's gonna happen to our characters to walk inside to work in less than five minutes. But on the way out, I got a book sleeve from Jess. So I'm gonna open it 
right now and then like I'll maybe show y'all when I get home today of how it fits with like books inside of it. It comes in pretty pink tissue. Oh my gosh, look how pretty it is. <gasps> Yay! I wanted to get this one really badly because I need a different size because I have one that really fits hardback books and um, this will fit my paperback books really well. So, oh, I'm so excited to have this. This is so pretty. I'm so excited to have this. So, thank you so much, Jess, for sending this to me. Well, I bought it, but thank you so much, Jess, for making this. This is beautiful and I might even buy some more from you when I get the money to be able to splurge on that. But anyway, yeah, I gotta go ahead into work right now. I will update y'all later with my reading update because I have feelings about this book every day. Okay, bye. Hey y'all, it is later. I just got home from work and I thought I would show you what this book sleeve looks like with the book. Uh, this is so pretty, I love it. I'm gonna put the right swipe in here standard paperback fits nice and snugly in there oh i love that oh i love this um i will leave jess's channel link down below and her etsy shop is always in um the description of her videos so be sure to check her out if you want a book sleeve okay so i finished returning his favor today so i guess it's the third book for this video sorry this video is really all over the place i realized I have no idea how long this is gonna be hopefully it's not too long <laughs> um yeah i finished returning his favor by i think jacqueline francis is the author i didn't really like this <laughs> unfortunately i was really excited because it's about a plus size main character which i love that representation and her falling for an ex amish man which sounded really interesting to me. Um, I loved that aspect of the book. I loved also how this book was not talking about how our main character, I think Melissa is her name. See, I almost forgot her name. Um, Melissa wasn't like, the book wasn't about her trying to lose weight or her being too overweight. It's just about her and yeah, she has curves and she's kind of big, so what? I really loved that part of the book. Don't get me wrong, I loved that part. That was my favorite part of the book other than the steamy scenes. The steamy scenes were very well written, very well written. So I'm thinking about maybe giving this book 2.5 out of five stars. My problems were, as I said before, the pacing, the pacing really irked me at times. You'd end a paragraph and then the next paragraph you jump Towards the end of the book, you jump like weeks, which it really irked me. I, I don't like for books to do that. You gotta like have some transition or like, like even look like three dots in the book to like say that we're in a new chapter or point in this person's story. Anyway, I talked about it earlier about the things I had trouble with. And then the ending was very, very, very abrupt. I think if we got the male's perspective in this book, I would have probably liked it way more. So then I could learn his thought process at the conflict that happened in this book. Overall, I didn't love this. It was very, I'm so disappointed. I really wanted to love this, but uh, I did. I love some aspects of it, but I couldn't get over some things. Like, yeah, the thing that irked me maybe the most was in the beginning at least. Maybe it improved more towards the end. I don't know. There was no lead up to them having the steamy scenes. Like, it was just like, oh, he looked at her in the room and then BAM! Like, bah, bah. Ugh, it bothered me a lot. There was no lead up. And then the end is just them... I talked about it earlier. I don't want to make this video really, really long, but... but this book irked me. It's not five stars, unfortunately. I honestly don't know which one of i think there's two left the last two books i have in this video i don't even remember what i have left i'm just like still reeling after this book because i wanted to love it so much and i didn't <laughs> hello sorry for the sun flare here it looks like i have like a sun little beard here uh the visor isn't covering my whole face and it is very bright here in texas but it is very cold so i'm happy about that i get to wear my cute winter clothes um but anyway it's been 
many, many days since I last talked to y'all for this vlog. Um, because I wasn't really in the mood to read anything on my phone or my iPad or basically Kindle. I wasn't in the mood to read anything on Kindle. I've just been listening to audiobooks that don't count for this video, so that's why I didn't chat with y'all for the past couple of days. Um, but I did start The Gravity of Us by Brittany C. Cherry yesterday while I was nannying. I don't know what this book is about, like, at all. I cannot tell you what it is going to be about. Like, a one-sentence thing that I think it might be about is just about a girl who wants to be with this guy, but he doesn't like expressing his feelings, and he doesn't like being emotional. But she does. I don't know. The first chapter... Ooh, the, the prologue, the prologue, who that hit me in the feels. If I wasn't in public in a gymnasium at the moment when I was reading it, I would have cried, which has never happened on the first chapter of a book except for Kingdom of Ash. What am I getting myself into with this book? <laughs> but basically it just starts out with um, this girl has two sisters. They're both older than her. One of them has been emotionally distant and physically distant as well um, and then um, her other sister who's the middle child is diagnosed with cancer and the prologue starts out with that woman's husband leaving her and I wanted to cry for what what was going on um, wow that first chapter not even the first chapter the prologue what oh my god it was it's so good I'm only in the middle of chapter one, maybe I'm on chapter two now. I don't remember. But, wow. This writing is really good. I can already tell. I think I'm really going to love this one, hopefully. I'm just having a hard time reading ebooks or physical books at the moment. Because I'm at that stage in school where if I sit down with a book... I'm gonna fall asleep within five minutes. So I have to be out in public somewhere probably for me to read a book at the moment. That's why I was at gymnastics class reading this book while the kids did gymnastics. And I'm probably gonna go read a little bit while I wait for class to start. So I'm really excited. I'm actually really excited for this book even though it might take me a while. Even though it's only 275 pages, it might take me a while because I'm in a reading-ish slump at the moment and I'm not wanting to read anything. Hello, sorry for the really bad lighting. Um, here's the back of Oreo's head right now. We're cuddling, but I'm also reading The Gravity of Us. I am 53% of the way through and there's a quote that I am loving in this. Um, so our main character, woman, she works in a floral shop. Like, she owns a her own florist company with her sister. The guy who's like the love interest is really really cold and doesn't really like showing his emotions and everything and our main character woman is the complete opposite of that. Like she wears her heart on her sleeve. She like tells him when he, she first meets him like and goes to his house because she uh, is helping taking care of his kid. Um, she said, she says, oh I think this place would lo look like really well with a garden. I love gardens. Like, she's a florist, so of course she would love gardens. And something, like, really sad and not great happened to her the night before, and she wakes up to find him mowing the lawn and having, like, supplies outside, and she asks him what he's doing. He said, you asked me to make a garden, so I'm making you a garden. And then she, her internal monologue goes, my heart it exploded. Uh, I'm loving this book so much right now. <laughs> I don't really want to talk too much about it though because I think it's great for me going in really really blind. I'm actually glad there was nothing really in the summary so I don't really know what to say about this book. Just know that a guy who doesn't really like showing his feelings at all is very cold and standoffish and kind of a dick, an asshole, and his love interest is kind of like a hippie <laughs> girl who shows all of her emotions and wears her heart on her sleeve and that dynamic is really intriguing me at the moment so like I'm really loving this right now oh thank you for my kiss we're gonna get back to reading the book
and I'll talk to y'all later. Hello. <laughs> I've been crying for the past two hours reading the end of this book. Also, sorry about my hair. Um, I have a lot of hair, so I have to put in a lot of braids. Um, I'm also being quiet because it's 12.30 in the morning. Wow. Okay. Um, this book, wow, I'm giving it five stars, obviously, like, I, I need a physical copy of my hands right now, like, this book, okay, the ending really, uh, put me on a huge emotional roller coaster, I was crying for the last, I don't know, two, hour and a half, whatever, like, <sighs> if you like, like, really good romances, like, this book is, like, 280 something pages, there was maybe one steamy scene that wasn't steamy, like, basically at all, it's mostly about these two characters coming together in their own broken lonely way even though they are complete opposites and they go through a lot of crap like m like so much crap one person should not have to go through and it was so good i'm sorry i need to stop that was a good book i'm like i'm wrecked right now i'm very emotionally drained don't mind me. <coughs> I, I I have nothing else to say. I'm definitely going to read more uh Brittany C. Cherry books. She's an amazing writer. Oh my word. Like so good. I'm going to be reading more of her books for sure. I need to go to bed. I have class tomorrow. And I need to decompress <laughs> i need to chill out i need to take a breather hey y'all it's a couple days later sorry this vlog is a mess and it's probably gonna be really long <laughs> yeah last clip i finished the gravity of us and that kind of put me in a little bit of a a slump it's only been a couple days but i haven't really wanted to read anything else since i'm listening to a black dagger brotherhood book but that's not about this video so i'm not going to talk about it right now but i am going to start neat by candy steiner i believe while i'm in uh getting my hair dyed so this is what it's going to look like you see all those roots um before it's dyed and you will see what it looks like after it's not that big of a deal because it's just gonna be red and my hair's already red so <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna start <laughs> neat by candy steiner is that it's about a girl who works in a distillery maybe and then her boss is someone she hates and then they fall in love or something i don't know it's pretty short it's 270 pages so i might get a lot done while i am getting my hair done um so yeah i'm gonna go in there and i'll see y'all when i'm done hey y'all it's actually a couple days later i am outside playing with the pups and i'm just sitting out here reading neat i'm only actually five percent of the way through it Maybe on chapter two, I didn't really have time to read during my hair salon appointment. <laughs> um, I like to chat with my hair stylist. Um, but yeah, this is the aftermath of my hair. It's not really anything different. I just got color in it. And yeah, I'm actually really enjoying this so far. Kind of like a Romeo and Juliet-esque story. Two families hate each other and a girl and a guy from each family ends up falling for each other and it's in set in a distillery and they work in a distillery together. I'm at the part at the beginning where it is the girl's first day there and she's really cool. The reason why the guy likes her is because she's so different than all the girls because she like has multicolored hair, she has like a septum piercing, she has tattoos, she wears ripped clothes, like that's not how the other girls are like 
in his very small town. So yeah, I'm gonna keep reading. I got the day off of work today. So I am probably gonna spend some time reading, maybe take some bookstagram pictures. I've been meaning to get more into bookstagram. I've been posting for the past four days in a row. So pat on the back for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go read and maybe take some pictures. So I will chat with y'all later. Hey y'all. I'm just not gonna say what day it is because I literally have no idea what day it is compared to the other days I filmed. Ollie, why are you crying? Come here. Come here. Why are you crying? Anyway, I am 40% of the way through this book now. I'm really enjoying it. That's all I've got to say about it. I don't, I don't know how to. This vlog is just gonna be so super duper long, filled with like nothing. So I don't know if I'm gonna get any reading done this weekend because it's my mom's birthday. So I'm gonna be hanging out with her. And yeah, we're about to go to a little festival place. And then I am going to go to my small little um, bookshop called Blue Villa Bookshop. If you're ever in Houston, that is the place to go. It is like really close to my old high school. And they get a lot of great authors there. I've met Bridget Kemmerer, I've met Becky Wallace, I've met um, Elizabeth Yulberg. Um, they had Rick Riordan there. They're going to have Holly Black there later this month. Well, actually in November. They're gonna have Holly Black there in November, but I've never read any Holly Black books, so I don't know if I'm going to go to that. But yesterday I missed Rudis Petty's because I had to babysit instead of going to her signing and meeting her and she wrote one of my favorite books of all time and I wasn't there to meet her and get a picture with her. Oh, I was so upset, but I'm going to go get my book today. I, I got two books because I have my copy of Salt of the Sea that is worn and torn and loved very much. I have that and I brought it into the store wondering if I could leave it with them and have them sign it because I couldn't be there and I was super sad about it. And they said, unfortunately, we're not allowed to do that because we don't want to be responsible for your book. And I was like, that's fair enough. I totally understand. So um, I purchased another copy of Salt of the Sea so she could sign that too. So I'm getting Fountains of Silence and Salt of the Sea today. This vlog I realize is just the month of October. I've vlogged myself reading the whole month of October starting what October 3rd or something I don't and it's it's the 26th right now so this might just be like a, a month reading vlog <laughs> hello I finally flipping did it I finished all of the books on this list I'm gonna film like a wrap-up portion later but I finished Neat by Candy's Diner which I didn't know was a book in a series like a companion series um, so I, I actually really want to go read the first one about one of the brothers that's already the story's already happened There you go. I really enjoyed this. I think I might give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars I can't give it a full 5 stars because the romance happened really fast To me it was really fast really quick I felt like two weeks and they were saying the L word. So that's the only gripe I have about it. I really, really, really enjoyed this book though. Like I enjoyed it so much. I really want to have my own copy for my collection, which that really goes to show if I really enjoyed a book, I really need to get a copy of it for my collection if I read it on my phone. There's a few things I really, really love in books, certain scenes that I really love to see in books. And two of those were in this book. One of the um, instances is when one of our love interests have like really crappy parents or a really crappy family and they go confront them about it like they they speak their mind finally they confront them about it that's what happened in this book and I was like yes <laughs> I needed that and then the other thing is uh I think it's just because of Akamath A Court of Mist and Fury that I freaking love this but when two love interests like mess with paint <laughs> that happened in this book I really liked it. <laughs> hey y'all, it's me again. Uh, present day Avery. Um, I'm going to wrap up my thoughts about these books, I guess. As I said before, Two Worlds Collided by Karen Michelle Nutt. I did after this within like the second chapter. I did not like that at all. I wasted money. I bought this ebook. I'll never get that money back. <laughs> if you want to shoot your shot and try it out, I mean, go ahead. The writing really irked me a lot and I knew I wasn't gonna get through that book enjoying mostly anything so that's why I DNF'd it. Next we have The Simple Wild. I flipping love this book. This is my new display book if you can tell by 
the empty space right there. I decided to put that at my new display book. Might be my new favorite e book of the year. I haven't decided yet. Um, it's between two other books. I really, really, really love this. Five out of five stars for sure. I love the family aspect. I love the romance aspect. I love mainly how this book wasn't only romance. It was actually like mostly about family and her reconnecting with her father and forming that relationship with him. So this is one out of this list that I probably recommend the most. Next, I read Returning His Favor by Jacqueline Francis. This was a really big disappointment for me. I was expecting to really enjoy this because it has great diversity in um, characters because we have a man who is ex-Amish and a woman who is plus size. The transitions bugged me to no end. I'm sorry they did. They bugged me a lot. The ending, I needed the male's perspective to really feel like I would have enjoyed the ending. The resolution at the end, um, I didn't really get what I wanted at all. But other than that, I really enjoyed the characters. The male main character was a little bit too alpha male for my personal preference. I enjoyed their uh, romantic relationship together though, nonetheless. I gave Returning His Favor two out of five stars. Then I read The Gravity of Us by Brittany C. Cherry. I flipping love this book. I need to purchase a physical copy as soon as possible to add to my collection. I gave this five stars. I loved this book. I wasn't expecting to, to be honest with you. I don't know why I didn't expect to love it as much as I did. I don't know, going into it. I love the love interests, their relationship together. Their bantering was so great, so great. How their relationship grows made me spoon. I can't really talk about all the things that I loved because that would be a really big spoiler. Just know that this is a really really good book. You don't need to read the rest of the books in this series at all to love this book. This is the fourth book I think in a companion romance series. I've only read this one and I loved it. Didn't feel like I missed anything so I totally recommend this one as well. The last book on this list is Neat by Candy Steiner. I gave this one a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really, really enjoyed my time reading this. I really got sucked into this story. Um, it had a few of my favorite tropes in there, which I loved, and I really enjoyed these characters, and I love the Romeo Juliet-esque storyline. I haven't read a Romeo and Juliet-esque storyline in a while, so I loved getting back into that. And these characters were great. I really enjoyed our male main character. Um, he had really se like severe OCD, so it was really funny to see how um, his love interest was the complete opposite of him and he's just baffled by her because <laughs> she can't like straighten a picture frame or um, keep her apartment clean. He does this thing where he cleans to like de-stress and that's what I do so I really connected with him on that aspect. The only reason I didn't give this five stars is just because the romance happened a little bit too quickly for my taste. Other people might not think so but for me I felt like they said the L word pretty pretty quickly. That was my only critique is I personally love a more slower start to a romance. Other than that, it was really, really, really great nonetheless. I totally recommend this one for sure. Anyways, there you have it. That is the end of this very messy, very long reading vlog. I'm really sorry if uh, you stuck around to watch for this long. <laughs> I don't know why you have. Sorry for the lack of videos recently. My anxiety and depression have really sparked this month uh, to where I haven't really been wanting to do anything other than what I have to, like school and work. Hopefully I can get a few videos out um, in the near future. I really want to start posting more. I've already started my reading vlog for the Tome Topple readathon and I plan to participate in the buzzwordathon so stay tuned for those reading vlogs I guess. Um, I still have to film my October wrap-up and my October ebook haul so also stay tuned for those. Um, I'm really sorry that I haven't been posting content. Anyways thank y'all so so much for watching. Thank you for watching if you stuck it out for this long. This video is really long. I'm so sorry. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!